Tonight, we explore a tale of steel, ambition, and political tension. A story that stretches across borders and into the heart of two nations. The Gordie Howe International Bridge, a $4.8 billion engineering marvel, is rising above the Detroit River, aiming to connect the US and Canada like never before. It's not just a structure, it's a promise of progress, a testament to what can be achieved when two countries work together. Yet this powerful symbol of unity is overshadowed by a storm of tariffs from the Trump administration, threatening the very economic partnership it seeks to strengthen. Political decisions ripple across the border, creating uncertainty for businesses and families alike. Imagine cranes lifting colossal steel segments high above the water as the Detroit River flows below, a historic artery of commerce that has carried goods and dreams for generations. The bridge, named after hockey legend Gordie Howe, stands as a tribute to cross-border friendship and shared history, reminding us of the deep ties that bind these two nations. But as each beam is bolted into place, uncertainty looms overhead, fueled by shifting economic policies and trade disputes from Washington, D.C. The future feels as fragile as the steel being hoisted into the sky. The U.S.-Canada trade relationship is one of the largest and most complex in the world, with billions of dollars in goods and services crossing the border every single day. This flow supports millions of jobs and countless communities on both sides. The new bridge aims to enhance this vital flow, making it faster, more efficient, and more secure for generations to come. It's designed to ease congestion and provide a modern gateway for trade and travel. However, tariffs on steel and aluminum have turned this partnership symbol into a paradox, making construction more expensive and straining the very relationship the bridge is meant to celebrate. Canada is building a bridge to its biggest trading partner, using materials made more costly by that very partner's policies, a situation that highlights the complexities of modern trade. Can a physical bridge withstand a political wall of protectionism? This question lingers, as the answer will define the U.S.-Canada relationship for decades to come, shaping the future of both nations. The impact is far-reaching, touching auto workers in Michigan, farmers in Ontario, and businesses large and small across the continent. Every policy decision echoes through factories, fields, and warehouses. The Gordie Howe Bridge story is about trust, economics, and the delicate balance of power between two close allies. It's a test of whether cooperation can overcome conflict and whether hope can outlast uncertainty. As of August 2, 2025, the bridge's towers are nearly complete, standing tall as a beacon of possibility. Yet, the economic future remains uncertain, with many watching to see what comes next. This is more than concrete and steel. It's about the future of North American trade, the resilience of partnership, and the hope that bridges, both literal and figurative, can endure even the toughest storms. The journey to build this mega bridge was a marathon, a testament to perseverance and vision. The need for a new crossing between Detroit and Windsor became clear decades ago as traffic congestion and delays mounted. The aging Ambassador Bridge was a bottleneck for trade traffic, struggling to handle the increasing volume of goods. Over a quarter of U.S.-Canada trade funnels through this corridor, making it a critical artery for both nations' economies. A disruption could paralyze supply chains, especially in the auto industry, where just-in-time delivery is crucial. The idea for a new, publicly-owned bridge gained momentum in the early 2000s, driven by economic necessity and public demand. Political hurdles, funding debates, and legal opposition stalled progress, creating a complex web of challenges. The Ambassador Bridge's private owners fought to block the new project, fearing competition and loss of revenue. In 2012, Canada offered to finance the entire project, including the U.S. Customs Plaza, a bold and strategic move. This unprecedented move broke the political gridlock in Michigan, paving the way for progress. Canada planned to recoup its investment through toll revenues, ensuring a return on their significant financial commitment. The project was named the Gordie Howe International Bridge, honoring a beloved hockey player and symbolizing cross-border unity. Construction began in 2018, a triumph for supporters after nearly two decades of planning and negotiation. The long road led to the start of construction on a bridge for the future, promising enhanced connectivity and economic growth. It was a clear signal of the bridge's vital role in Canada's economic strategy, reinforcing the importance of strong international ties. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is an engineering spectacle, representing one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in recent North American history. 
Its sheer size and complexity set it apart from most other bridges on the continent. The total cost is $4.8 billion US, a staggering investment that covers not only the bridge itself, but also the massive ports of entry on both sides of the border, as well as new road connections and supporting infrastructure. The main span will stretch over half a mile, making it one of North America's longest cable-stayed bridges. Its length rivals some of the most iconic bridges in the world, and it will serve as a vital link between Canada and the United States. Its pylons will soar 750 feet into the sky, becoming iconic landmarks visible for miles around and a testament to modern engineering. The project uses over 22,000 tons of steel and 95,000 cubic meters of concrete, enough material to build several skyscrapers, demonstrating the immense scale and strength required for such a crossing. Thousands of workers are involved, from engineers and architects to heavy equipment operators and skilled tradespeople, all working together to bring this vision to life. Managed by the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority and Bridging North America, the timeline is ambitious, with teams coordinating across borders and disciplines to keep the project on track. The bridge will feature six lanes for vehicles and a dedicated multi-use path for pedestrians and cyclists, promoting both commerce and community connectivity. Ports of entry will be equipped with advanced technology for customs and security, ensuring efficient and safe cross-border movement for people and goods. As of August 2, 2025, the project nears completion, standing as a symbol of achievement, international cooperation, and the future of transportation between two nations. However, the steel used to unite the countries became a source of conflict, highlighting the challenges of sourcing materials in a globalized economy. The trade war between the US and Canada added another layer of complexity, with tariffs and trade barriers complicating an already intricate project and testing the resolve of everyone involved. As construction began, a trade storm brewed. In 2018, the Trump administration imposed tariffs on imported steel and aluminum. A 25% tariff on steel and 10% on aluminum affected close allies, including Canada. This move created immediate problems for the steel-intensive bridge project. The timing was critical, requiring vast quantities of specialized steel. Project managers faced a dilemma source expensive U.S. steel or pay hefty taxes on foreign steel. The irony was palpable. A project for free trade was penalized by protectionist policies. Canadian officials, including Prime Minister Trudeau, opposed the tariffs. Canada retaliated with tariffs on American goods, escalating trade tensions. The tariffs were lifted in May 2019, but their impact lingered. The episode left a scar on the US-Canada relationship, showing how quickly integration could be threatened. The tariff storm served as a reminder of the partnership's fragility. The clash over the bridge and tariffs was a political chess game. Canada invested heavily in the bridge, seeing it as a national imperative. The Trump administration's America First agenda challenged trade agreements. The bridge became a pawn in the larger game of North American trade. Canadian leaders worked to secure exemptions and resolve the dispute. They emphasized shared interests, especially in the auto sector. The Trump administration remained firm, using tariffs as leverage in USMCA negotiations. The Gordie Howe Bridge was not immune to this tactic. The lifting of tariffs in 2019 was a victory for Canadian diplomacy. The conflict demonstrated a shift in the US-Canada relationship. The episode served as a lesson, even close allies might view each other as competitors. The economic stakes of the bridge and tariff dispute are immense. This trade corridor is North America's busiest, vital for the continent's economy. In 2023, over $400 billion in trade flowed between Detroit and Windsor. The auto industry relies on this link, with parts moving back and forth. The new bridge is designed to be an economic catalyst, reducing congestion and speeding up crossing times. A 2010 study estimated the bridge would create over 15,000 jobs during construction. The tariff storm showed the vulnerability of this economic relationship. Tariffs increased construction costs and had broader ripple effects. They raised costs for manufacturers, impacting consumers with higher prices. The dispute highlighted the interconnectedness of the two economies. Infrastructure alone is not enough. Stable trade policies are essential. To grasp the full impact, we must hear from those on the ground. Business leaders emphasize the bridge's importance and the damage from trade disputes. Flavio Volpi highlights the border as part of the auto industry's assembly line. Economists argue tariffs harm the imposing country, leading to higher prices and inefficiency. 
the Gordie Howe Bridge represents reducing trade barriers. In Detroit's Delray neighborhood, the project is transformative but challenging. In Windsor, the sentiment is positive. The bridge is key to the future. A local truck driver sees the new crossing as essential for efficiency and livelihood. These stories paint a complex picture of a project reshaping the region. The Gordie Howe Bridge story is tied to its rival, the Ambassador Bridge. The Ambassador Bridge, a privately owned monopoly, was fiercely protected by the Marone family. They waged a legal and political war to prevent a publicly owned competitor. Their argument, a new bridge, was unnecessary and unfair competition. This rivalry delayed the public bridge project. The contrast is stark. The Ambassador Bridge is outdated, while the Gordie Howe Bridge is designed for the 21st century. The new bridge will end the Ambassador Bridge's monopoly, introducing competition. Proponents argue this will lead to better service and reliability. The rivalry isn't over. The Ambassador Bridge plans to replace its structure. A new era of public infrastructure and competition is dawning. As the final beams of the Gordie Howe Bridge are placed, it stands as a metaphor. It endured legal battles, political opposition, and economic turbulence. The bridge is a commitment to the US-Canada relationship. The tariff storm highlighted protectionism's dangers and the fragility of trading partnerships. Smart trade is about building bridges, not walls. The challenge is ensuring the political framework matches the physical infrastructure. The USMCA provides a foundation but requires vigilant stewardship. The story of this bridge is one of optimism and cooperation. As the first vehicles cross, they traverse more than a river. They cross a bridge of partnership. It's a vital lesson for North America and the world.